Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Drug Inspector Exam Preparation video series. In this video, I will explain about pharmaceutical jurisprudence syllabus and the topics. Now, when you see the syllabus, there are four important topics are given. First one is Drug and Cosmetic Acts. Now, the purpose of this act is to regulate import of drugs and cosmetics from other countries and within the country, manufacture, distribution and sale of drugs and cosmetics. Now, in order to conduct all these things, certain authorities are required. Three major authorities are there. Advisory authority, executive authority, analytical authority. Now, advisory authority, the job is to give advices regarding drugs and cosmetics. Like DTAB, Drug Technical Advisory Board, comes under this category. Executive authority, drug inspector, comes under this executive authority. Like uh, licensing authorities, controlling authorities, Customs uh, control, all of them comes under this executive authority. Now, analytical one, the testing laboratories like Central Drug Testing Laboratory, State Drug Testing Laboratories, all of them comes under this wing. Now, again, in the syllabus, there is a mention about powers and duties of drug inspector. So, this is about Drug and Cosmetic Act. Now, the next one is Narcotic and Psychotropic Substances Act. Now, in this, what is required to study is procurement and utilization of drugs. Now see, NDPS Act deals with narcotic drugs. If someone wants to cultivate morphine from opium poppy, they need to get license. That is what his procurement is. Now utilization, morphine is, is a kind of narcotic drug. It can be used in certain medical conditions like if someone is suffering from terminal cancer for palliative cure, morphine can be used. That is what his utilization is. You need to read about all these aspects. Now the next one is good manufacturing practices and current good manufacturing practices. So this is a simple thing which deals with hygiene and the area, raw materials, building related aspects. So all of them comes under GMP and CGMP. Now the last topic is regulatory aspects related to medical devices. See the rules are framed recently in 2017. So this is a kind of new topic. Now when you see medical devices can be classified into two broad categories like medical devices related to in vitro diagnostic devices and medical de devices not related to in vitro diagnostic devices. So based on that classification is made. So simple in vitro diagnostic devices means the glucose meter, even the uh, PCR test apparatus, um, blood testing apparatus, all of them comes under in vitro diagnostic devices. Now regulatory aspects means what kind of materials are used in order to manufacture them licensing uh, from where the license should be get all these aspects will be there see a simple uh, subject with a couple of things to remember so only four units are given in this jurisprudence go through the syllabus read them then all the best